Yep, I've definitely jinxed the tigers. Something will now bog, I'm sure. So I'm not worried too much about exactly where all the tanks are set up because they're all pretty close to each other. They call from this position they I could redeploy them pretty much wherever I wanted. Okay, so I have some Panzer IVs, and those things are going to be pretty fragile, I think, on this map. It's a wide open map. I'm expecting heavy assault guns and probably IS-2s. So the Panzer IVs are going to come last in the advance, and I'm probably also going to put the infantry on them. Although I might put them on the Panthers. Okay, we've got two FOs. I can definitely tell you I'm going to send one to this building right here. That is a good spot for an FO. You should be able to see quite a bit from there, hopefully. These buildings, I don't think they can see squat from where they are. Nope, they can't see anything really. can see an open wood line, but anything there, that'd be suicide for it to be there. That wood line that's visible there is too open. Go ahead and load up my infantry on tanks. So, tank riders. They are extremely vulnerable on those tanks. They will get shot off them really quick if you get them too close to enemy infantry or machine guns. But it's very useful for moving them long distances like this. I don't want to run them across this whole map. First sign of trouble, though. First, first instance of them getting shot at, I'm going to dismount them immediately. I've got an hour and 40 minutes to do this, so I can take my time. I don't have to rush. Whoops. Wrong button. Okay. Force is set up, at least good enough for this. Now let's talk bombardments. 
So, I think I'm going to leave my mortars unused I can, so I can call on them during the battle, but I'm definitely going to do a pre-bombardment with the artillery. And the question is, what do I use it on? Any suggestions in chat? The estate is a definite uh, contender. This wood line is. Maybe this one, this uh, patch of woods here too. I'm almost tempted to throw something here, but that's a really wide open area. If I pick the wrong spot, then I just wasted a ton of artillery. I'm not actually too worried about it. Now I think about it, I think the estate's a poor candidate. These buildings will be really easy targets for the tanks. They'll just be able to blow those out if there's anything there. The rest of the estate's really open. Yeah, I, I considered the estate, but I think, um, I think I can just target that with tanks and blow the crap out of it if there's a problem. So, the forest, it's kind of harder to blow up the whole forest with tanks. Much easier to knock down the buildings. I'm not too worried about the area back here yet, this rear area. That can be targeted later. I'll have plenty of time to attack that later. Yeah, that would be the worst case if there was rockets landed on my setup area. We'd be like, we'd be like, uh, game over, stream's done, thanks for coming. Okay, you know what? I have a bad feeling about this wood line right here. I think I'm going to put a light bombardment there. Just a short one. Okay, I'll plot some initial tank movements and then we'll get this started. Oh, and I need to open up my tank so that I can get my TC shot because that's what I do best. Yeg Panthers were originally on the list for inclusion, but from what I understand it was discovered that they actually weren't um, in the fighting at the time period we're doing. I think they came a month later. Someone can correct me on that though. And so we actually pulled them and they'll be in the next um, expansion. Um, the infantry are loaded on the tanks. I'm not sure what you're asking. There's a couple guys here who aren't, but I just want to, they're just going to run to the building, so they don't have to travel that far.
Can Ryder Infantry help the tank crew spot? That is a good question. I'm actually not sure, but I will look into it. That's a very interesting question. This would be the perfect moment to play some Cry of the Valkyries. I need to get a clip of that. Okay, only explosions I hear are from my own artillery bombardments. Let's see what we can see. It's like we can't see anyone who'd be prone, but we could see someone who is standing. Or a vehicle. So, I haven't received any fire yet, I'm just going to keep the guys loaded on the tanks until I receive some fire, and then I'm going to dismount the front line. I'm going to inch them forward just a little bit more and see if I get anything shooting at me. This is my method of recon. I go forward until something shoots at me, and then I reassess. I would really... people would hate me in real life. Far can you see? He can see pretty far. The ranges are pretty long. He can see up to about 600 meters away right now. So I think I'm gonna not go forward too far this turn to give him another another little bit of time to spot, just in case there's something waiting for him. Some infantry way off there. So yeah, I'm gonna wait one more turn. We'll know if something is there, because it'll start pinging off the Tigers. Unless it's an IS-2, in which case we'll know when the Tiger explodes. This is this wood line here is probably unoccupied, if I had to guess. Oh, I was something. Anti-tank gun. We've got a tentative contact. I imagine the FO is probably spot. No, the FO is didn't. Oh, there we go. That was a ricochet. I heard tank fire over there. When we're done looking at this, I'm going to rewind the turn and look on the other side. Any tank gun can see him, he can't see the anti-tank gun. Okay, let's check out the other side, because I heard tank fire. <laughs> 